In this episode, we're going to take a look at the partial product algorithm using one-digit multipliers. Just like when we're adding and we're doing partial sums, partial product means to multiply in parts. Partial, part, product, multiply. Let's give one a try. Let's take the number 316 and let's multiply that by 5. There are three parts to this problem. We have our ones part, shown here in red, our tens part, shown here in blue, and our hundreds part, shown here in green. Let's start by multiplying our hundreds. Let's take 300 and multiply it by 5. That's going to give us 1,500 or 1,500. Next, let's move on and multiply our tens place. We have 10, again multiplied by our 5, which gives us 50. Lastly, let's do our ones part. We have 6 times 5, which gives us 30. We took it apart. Let's put it all back together. Let's add up 15 plus 50 plus 30. Just like in partial sum, one of the keys to being successful with this method is to line up your columns. Notice my ones column here, my tens column, hundreds, and thousands are all lined up, which is going to make my addition really quite simple. I'll take 0 plus 0 plus 0 to give me 0. 0 plus 5 plus 3 gives me 8. 5 and nothing is 5, and 1 and nothing is 1. My final answer? 1,580.